LabVIEW and NXT Part 7 Magnetic Sensor. You can go to hightechnic.com to purchase and find out more about the magnetic sensor. Your sensor will also come with a few instructions. You might need to download the magnetic sensor block. I downloaded it from tetrixrobotics.org or you could Google it. When you download the magnetic sensor block, it's going to come in a folder and you're going to have to put a bunch of files in the correct spot. It will come with some instructions in a readme.txt file. So first you need to find your LabVIEW installation on a Mac computer. You usually have to go to your Applications folder. The National Instruments, LabVIEW 2009. If you forget what to do, look at the instructions. The first file we need to replace is the Hitechnic menu file, which is going to be in Menus, Categories, NXT Robotics, third-party sensors. Menus, Categories, NXT Robotics, and third-party sensors. We need to replace this file. Go into the download, go into Menus, Categories, NXT Robotics, third-party sensors, and drag this into your application and replace the file. You can go back. We're going to copy a couple more files or folders into the VI NXT High Technic folder. So in your LabVIEW installation, go back. Find the vi.lib folder, then the nxt folder, and then the hitechnic folder. In the downloaded file, find the vi.lib folder, nxt, hitechnic, and drag the two folders in there, sensors and subvis, into your LabVIEW installation. All right, let's open up LabVIEW and take a look at the Magnetic Sensor VI. Go to NXTIO, Additional Sensors and Motors, High Technic Sensors, then you'll see a list of different sensor blocks. Just find the Magnetic Sensor block. If you get this pop-up, don't worry, it's just LabVIEW looking for some files. I made a quick little program here where I read the magnetic sensor and display its output onto the screen. You can get positive or negative numbers. This indicates which pole of the magnet is closer to the sensor or the top of the sensor. Without a magnet present, I was getting about a negative 5, negative 7. I'm going to write a quick little program here making my robot turn around until it senses a magnet is close to the sensor. So I'm going to put in a couple drive motor blocks and a stop motor block and in between I want to read the magnet sensor. I want to check over and over this magnet sensor until I detect a magnet so I'm going to use a while loop. All right, I'm just giving port information to my motors. You can also give port information to your magnet sensor. Now here comes the important part. The magnets can cause either positive or negative values. So I want to be able to test for both of those. So I'm going to check the value, or really the absolute value, of the magnet sensor. 
That way then I'm checking positive or negative values over a certain amount. So I'm going to try it out with a value of 15 and see if that works. Remember that command U will clean up your code. Let's try it out. Run my robot. It's driving around. And here is the magnet. And the sensor detected it and the robot stopped.